like obviously at the moment not the most successful team yeah does it get hard to kind of stay motivated and to keep kind of showing up i guess yeah it does it does um sorry just put this game down um it does get pretty hard uh mentally challenging Mm. not physically i said to a few of the girls i'm not ready to stop playing but i'm very ready to take a break mentally at the moment um and it was the same thing with the pandemic last year like we were about to fly to melbourne and play carlton and we were bad last year we were Mm. bad like Anyone would admit, you know, we were hard to watch. It was hard to play. Um, and people playing against us were happy to play against us because they knew it was pretty much going to be an instant win other than the Western Bulldogs who we won against mm-hmm. last year. Um, so last year was really hard. Um, you don't think you're going to be great in your first season. Um, like you don't want to get ahead of yourself in a way, uh, but – you don't think how bad it can get mentally. Mm. Um, and it's, it just, it's just a toll. Like you get beaten. So if we got, we got beaten by Frio this, this season um, in the second derby when we play them twice uh, at Optus. And that's at Optus in front of however many people before a men's game. Um, and we, I think we got beaten by like 50 something points. We mm. kicked one goal, three or two goals, three or something. And they kicked 11 goals. And it's hard. It's hard. Like you, because you just everything just kind of feels like it falls apart on on the like during the game, and then everyone because they want to help and do so much better. People don't know where to start, so they it's not pointing fingers, but it's like maybe we should do this, maybe we should do that. That doesn't work, and it's it's really hard. I, and I feel for Pratty as our coach because he wants to do the same thing, but ultimately he makes the call. You know, what's what we need to be doing at training? What do we need to be doing differently? What is it because mm. we're unfit? Like, we can't change our fitness when we're midway through the season. So, that is, like, really hard because um, in your mind, you just – you want to do so much better and we know that we can produce so much better, but it's just yeah. not there yet and it's hard. So, it's I think – time thing. Being yeah, exactly. Consistent. Yeah, yeah. So, consistency, like, when we won our games or we when we – uh, so we had three really good games. Um, obviously, the two that we had won. So uh, Geelong, who else did we win against? You played. Yes, yeah, so I can't remember. <laughs> Geelong was our last win. Who did we play before that, though? I can't even remember anymore. I yeah. It's a well win. It goes quick. Yeah. They were early games, weren't they? You had a, you had a close one against Frio. Yeah, Frio. so we, we lost that around. one by like... I think it was like four points in the rain. We can look it up for you. Here we go. Yeah. So, so you had the one against matches. You go around <laughs> one. Do you been around one? Do you remember? Adelaide, yeah. No. Nah. 38 points. Yeah, we lost to Adelaide. Lost Adelaide. Um, nine points to Frio the week after. Nine points, yeah. Round three. Week. 45 to Brisbane. Yeah. And then we won round four against... No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We lost GWS. GWS. And then we won. And who's that? We oh, won. yeah. We won at home. This is a close match. As if you can't remember this, this has been nail now. Nail- oh, that's it. Gold Coast. <laughs> yeah. By yeah. one point. Yeah, by point. That's right. I remember. That was awful being on the sideline for that last two minutes, actually. I was on the bench for the last two minutes of that game. And then so is that We're one? so silly. We just like, we want to make people like, enjoy the game a little bit more and we make it close. We made it so hard for ourselves to win that game. And then we won again. So Geelong was our best team footy. Okay. Um, what was it about that game? Or was it just your old play? What the, the, like the, what you, as a team struck, like you just played how you want yeah, to play? Yeah, partly it was, partly us, partly Geelong. Okay. Um, uh, Geelong obviously hadn't been doing too well. Mm. Neither had we. We only just won against um, Gold Coast and Gold Coast flogged Geelong. Yeah. Um, so we were like, where kind of it's kind of like where are we standing between Gold Coast, Geelong, and then obviously St Kilda, Richmond were the next ones up as well. Um, and I remember it was a Monday night or Monday afternoon game. Um, so super random. It was our second Monday game for mm-hmm. the season, and um, we ran out for our second warm, our first warm up, and you see all these school kids, like primary school kids, walking in, like lines yeah. and lines of them, and I was like. 
they're so cute. Like we're running down <laughs> like on the other far side and um, they're sitting down near uh, the Hungry Jack side down there. Yep, yep. So they were like under the veranda and so they were all sitting down in their like line and stuff and then they see us get closer and closer and where the goals are there. And um, <laughs> they start chanting, West Coast, yeah. West Coast. And then like it was just so awesome having s- – majority of them were i think boys um and obviously girls were there too but they were doing like cartwheels and stuff and cheering at, like for our first warm-up and then when, when the game actually started and we were kicking goals down that end first you know the girls had stopped doing cartwheels and they were so invested so invested in what we were doing and the boys were saying i've heard this after the game obviously didn't hear it during the game but the boys were like oh it's not it's not the boys playing mm. it's, it, the girls are playing and they were so invested as well. And it was, so, I think something like that is just so uplifting. Mm. And we had, I think we had them right up until halftime and then so, like they yeah. had to go home. Um, so we had that as our little like rally, um, yeah. which was awesome. And I, we really got up and about about that. And then partly on Geelong, um, they were just terrible. Like, and I'm not, I'm not going to take that back because they were like, you could tell they didn't want to be there. Um, and we spoke to a few of the players out after the game and, you know, there's got, they've got some stuff going on inside their four walls. I'm not going to say what, yeah, yeah. but it's nothing bad or anything like that. But um, I think um, it shows on, on the field. So mm. for them, um, some things they don't align oh, on and all that kind of thing and it yeah. shows. Um, and they were just it's kind of like just they just wanted to get through it kind of thing and that's what we hard. felt it gets real hard for them and they had some really good moments um but they didn't want to run they just didn't want to yeah it just felt like it was a training drill at some mm. point it gets hard because obviously i've been a part of these for, for the last mm. couple of years and seasons it gets hard after you know you're trying to change culture and yeah and sometimes like you know that things aren't right but you still have to front up every week and play a game and yeah know that you're not putting the best out in the park because Mm. Well, the reasons that's happening inside the clubs, it does get difficult even for players, you know, wear their heart in the sleeve and yeah. coaches who want to put the best, show the best effort out there and then it mm. doesn't happen because of other reasons. It, it kind of beats you down a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, and I thought we had a bad. And then when we played them, I was like, oh, we're not in their boat, so see you later. So how do you kind of, you know, turn it around, I guess? So it would have been periods where it would have been hard, but turning it around, mm. how does it kind of, you kind of look at it? A different angle during that game. Oh, like just in just in general for yourself, like you were saying, it gets like you want to take mentally take a break. Mm. Is that just kind of like a period where we had a bad spot and then you turned it around, or was it just yeah? Well, we had pounding. Our middle of the season was really good, obviously with Gold mm-hmm. Coast and then Geelong, and mm-hmm. we kind of found something. Yep. And as you do, like you kind of ride that little wave for a little while, um, and then you come up against um, teams that. Uh, better than you and it's hard um so i think i really focus in the back end of the season i was playing predominantly more midfield um which is where i really wanted to play um and away from football i was away from football so i think yeah okay that really helped um and i've I've got a um a puppy i got a dalmatian puppy and i got him in uh september so he's almost eight months old now but he's just like (laughs) so silly but he just he just loves going on the park and Mm. seeing all his dog friends and you know like i would go for walks in the morning and and like my off nights we would take him for a walk and stuff and um i'd go and see my family whenever i can um which is really hard like date night yeah all that kind of stuff just removing yourself yeah like i really just isolate well not isolated myself i just took myself away from the harsh environment of all reality that footy is when we're there um going to work like uh, uni started back up again so i kind of had different focuses as well so i think that really benefited me um to the back end of the season i didn't watch any of the games um the girls games at all really i saw glimpses or like i would check scores and stuff like that because you know i'm a fan but um yeah i, I took myself away from mm. the bubble i guess so like- that made it better yeah, okay. Yeah. Like how you said, harsh reality. Yeah, it can be harsh. Mm. People yeah. don't realise that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't realise that. Yeah, exactly. And uh, people only see what they see. Exactly. Um, they see you play a game of footy. Yeah, 